Good morning. Um, my name is Rocco. A uh, question for Michael and for Alan. Uh, when you guys since did so many different Transformer G1 voices, did you ever have to, if you did scenes together with the same characters, did you stop and cut and do the other voice, or you just go back and forth between each, each individual character? It was in my contract not to work with Alan directly. <laughs> He's so annoying. Uh, are you asking if we did uh, characters that we spoke to ourselves yeah, in the like framework of a character? In a, in a scene together, would you? Uh, it, it was, for myself, it was fun to do. Yeah, we'd take a moment and then jump into the other character, but more often than not, we would, uh, we would wait and then come back again and do it because it's for simple clarity. But if you had a good separation, there might have been one or two characters that you could talk to yourself. And it continued on the way home, and I got stopped by a cop. <laughs> I, um, I talked to myself when I was doing He-Man Masters of the Universe, because I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm here all week, how's your steak? Um, because I played Skeletor and Merman and Cringer and Man-at-Arms. So sometimes an actor will do Skeletor all the way through, then come back and do Merman all the way through. I thought this would be fun, and I talked to myself. and. There's no argument if you're, <laughs> if you're answering yourself, they can't say that's a bad reading, that's the way I see it, you know? So that was great fun like that. Is that what you were talking about? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The, uh, I think every, every voice actor, uh, when we were doing those uh, cartoons, were asked to do uh, a character, another character besides the one that they were doing. Because there'd be so many characters in the, uh, in the show, you, uh, the director would go, anybody want to do this voice? And, and if you were arrogant enough to say yes, you would, you would get it. And uh, so sometimes I would be arrogant enough to go, I, yeah, I can do that voice. And uh, I would do that voice. And then you would find out it was one of those voices where you're talking to each other. And when you are talking to each other, I'm not as good as Michael Bell or Alan Oppenheimer and those kinds. These guys can do voices forever. And uh, to, to work with these guys was a big honor because I was a fan just as, as, as you are to work with these guys. These guys could do that talk together thing really, really well. Me, I had to do it a few times, but I never raised my hand again to, <laughs> to do that, those voices. So I think what we, you, I think. Because you'd should, only get paid if you did like four voices. I know, right? but I think what we should have said was, well, how many episodes does this guy appear in? <laughs> that's what we should have said. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, that's good. I just want to add, uh, from production coordinator uh, point of view, I remember, and I think I've got this right, that uh, contractually uh, with the Guild, um, for what we paid the actors to come in for one day, we were entitled to get three voices out of them. Three voices, yeah. So if we needed somebody to do a fourth voice, you can be sure we were going to ask them to do six. Because <laughs> <That's right. laughs> then we'd have to pay them double and we'd want our full money's worth.